Looking like I just ate a salad. Gloss with this, we stay with it. Bitch, don't try me like a faggot. No, I can't cuff no basic bitch. Rat tucked in like a handkerchief. She be all in my face and shit. She a deaf down the wrong way. Set her location, I'll spin to the whole place. Hit it and quit it. Do not call my phone, babe. I cannot deal with lies. You wanna feel the vibe? Well, I wanna feel your thighs. Hop in that water, slip slide. Think they I can go buy what I want, keep that thing on me You can come try if you want, play on with me is what I don't condone Empty the clip, put it right in your dome My niggas gon' slide if you right or from wrong You play if you want, then your life will be gone Take pain on me I can go buy what I want, keep that thing on me You can come try if you want, play on with me is what I don't condone Empty the clip, put it right in your dome My niggas gon' slide if you right or from wrong What's up, y'all? You know I'm finna talk my shit. Love you guys, solid day. Me her album you drop. My album, no. Meet the Bolos, yes. It's next month. I have a date soon, though. I know y'all be like, damn, she be playing all that good music and don't got no fucking date. Yeah, boy. Ooh. Bang roll thick, everything on me. Hey, coop, don't coop, which one you wanna see? Hey, towers in the backseat. Beast in the loud nigga get him gone, he gon' do it for the cheap. Ooh, block too high, can't show my face, nigga talk too much. Really got a lay low here. Yeah. I'ma hop out, I ain't gotta do none. He gon' leave all your blood on the radio scene. Yeah. Shit, him out like a chummy, got a blood on you. Got a couple lights, got a port on you. Spin on me, I blow on you. Bring it back, I go by two. definitely about to talk my shit. I got a uh, Zoom tonight on relationships. Um, but you know, I got some shit I need to say. It's my shit, y'all. Want to collaborate with these? Enjoy presentations. With hey, you know, I love this song. To get the best out of your car, Somebody put the best in the in your car. Right, oil, right, right, filter, right, 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 right,
It's a lot of shit keeps rushing me But I just know it's gotta keep on testing me I just gotta get through all this burdening Cause lady I pray that you take this hurt from me Feels like surgery, don't forsake me Even though it's not my time, they wanna take me Box me up, I know they wanna yellow tape me But be my God, I trust you, leave me into safety But if you don't, I'll always keep my shit off safety I'ma love my brother, I swear that they were gon' pay I ain't give a fuck about conviction or no case I just knew I had to crop that vision out the way Cause I was gon' do something I wouldn't regret that day No mask on, you can't see nothing at all So much pain that I carry, try my best not to fall Ain't no tears, I don't wipe no eyes, I just keep that shit inside Ain't no problems I deal with, there's no one that can call me down Mama don't know that I know she tried to keep it quiet she almost had lost her life And I don't know what I'll do if she ain't by my side And I close my eyes to block the thoughts and lie It's my passion me But I just know it's gotta keep on testing me I just gotta get through all this burdening Cause lady I pray that you take this hurt from me Feels like surgery, don't forsake me Even though it's not my time, they wanna take me Box me up, I know they wanna yellow take me But be my God, I trust you, leave me into safety But if you don't, I'll always keep my shit off safety Lord, I pray you keep my grandma strong, she holding on I check up on her every night to make sure she ain't gone I just wanna return the favors before you take her home That's why I'm in these streets to try to get my money low So I can give her everything she had and never own So we don't have to struggle no more, I'ma put it on See the smile on all your face, show me Brother got us, I know I won't stop till I'm dead and gone Just know you ain't alone I promise keys that I won't skip a beat Put that on three F2 million, then my little niggas Watch where you creep Grinding on my mind If I can't live, then I can't sleep Grinding on my mind If I can't, then I can't I know, I know I know, I know yeah. It's a lot of shit keeps stressing me Testing me, I just gotta get through all this burdening. Cause lady, I pray that you take this hurt from me. Feels like surgery. Don't forsake me, even though it's not my time. They wanna take me. Box me up, I know they wanna yellow take me. But be my guy, I trust you, leave me into safety. But if you don't, I'll always keep my shit off safety. I got a Zoom tonight um, at 9.30. Hey, you already know that's my shit, man. So I got a Zoom tonight at 9.30. It's on changing your perspective in relationships. Hold on, y'all. All right, we good. Okay, so listen. This is what I want to share with y'all, right? So it's a lot of us that, like, growing up, and even, like, once we got an adult, or what we call grown and we start mingling and mixing with other people we develop you know our perspective of our or our perception of what you know relationships are for but for the most part a lot of us we interact and we lock in with people for the wrong reasons and this goes for male or female we look to feel like certain shit within us that a lot of times we won't admit it but we will be in relationships rather it's friendships cliques groups of people niggas you hustle with females you in group chats with but we will click with these people to fulfill certain parts of us that they shouldn't even be tied to so like for me to y'all it's extremely important that you have an understanding on the point of interacting with other people it's a lot of us that we don't have real purpose behind the relationships we have in our life which is a big part of why we end up in a space where you lose self as you gain more and more friends or as you get involved more and more with people or as you spend more and more years in relationships with people y'all get that so far now a lot of people they they easy fix to this be that oh that's why i don't fuck with people or that's why i'm single now but in all reality that's not right either 
Like human beings, and I tell y'all this, male, female, young, old, gay, straight, it don't matter what you got going on. We are by nature wired to socialize, mingle, and build relationships with other people. It is just normal. Like you can try your hardest not to fuck with people, but the way life is set up, the way you are wired, the way your chemical makeup is in your body, you are going to gravitate towards other human beings for intimacy, for socializing, for communicating, um, for a support system, for however your life is set up, problems or lack thereof, there will always be reasons to interact with other people. Hell, the way this country set up, in order to really like eat, make purchases, do a lot of shit, you got to interact and socialize with other people. So with that being said, it's so important for us to really understand the point of relationships. Like the whole reason you're dealing with the people that you're dealing with. Aside from finances, this is like one of the top reasons that relationships don't be working out or that you be in a relationship and you feel used up. You don't feel like you can fully trust. You don't feel like you can fully be yourself. You don't feel like you actually know how to communicate to the person you've been with, even though you've been with them for years. And then stuff like what I be teaching, management of emotions, budgeting, getting yourself in a space where you figure out what makes you happy outside of other people. Because remember, I'm saying most people in relationships and they don't understand the purpose of it. Like they don't get the real reason why I'm socializing, mingling, fucking on or dealing with another person outside of myself. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? I want to make sure before I go further, y'all get exactly what I'm trying to break down. Hold on, y'all. Everybody on the same page. Somebody told me I'm not saying it over. Somebody told me I said it over. I just joined. So now, if you get what I'm saying, when I do my Zoom tonight and a couple more um, lives I'm going to make later on this week, I'm really going to be breaking down and explaining. Um, and it, it'll never be on a live as in-depth as I break it down in my Zooms. But I will touch on more and I will be posting in my close friends just having a clear understanding on what people exist in your life for. Like the point of having these type of people, this person, this particular friend, this particular person, what it means to be intimate with this person, what it means to be vulnerable with this person, the point of having boundaries with this person. A lot of people, man, y'all can't really find y'all way through life or set like realistic goals that make sense for what you want for yourself because you don't really understand the purpose of the people you got around you. Black Beauty, you say you in a meeting? Jules said it's hard, so I just isolate. Like I said earlier, that's most people go to solution, but that is not going to give you a sense of purpose either. Like a lot of times people don't realize doing the whole, I just ain't going to fuck with nobody and I'm going to just stay by myself. It ends up making you more bitter, more torn, more scorned than actually like mixing and, and socializing with people. The reason why is because by nature as human beings, our species is wired to interact with others. So you will get a sense of like inner loneliness when you don't have the normal interactions with people that make sense to have. And then of course you got people that's extreme in the other direction to where they need people to even feel like they valuable.
What I'm saying go for male and female. It does. Like a lot of times you have people, let me put it to you like this. Most people know what thirst plays is. If you urban, you know what it means to make thirst plays. Like where you are like moving in a way where people can tell you extremely thirsty, either for money, attention, um, trying to matter. So a lot of times you'll see people make thirst plays trying to be relevant with groups of people. And then you'll see them make thirst plays trying to make it seem like they don't need nobody. And the whole idea with life is balance. It's having an understanding for who I am and what I'm dealing with the people that I deal with for. Somebody say, so where do you meet like-minded people? So I know y'all don't heard the saying where people say, you know, you attract what you are. But in all reality, like, what it really is is that what you're looking for, what you have an understanding for is what you will attract. Meaning like, for example, when I learned how to manage my emotions and I learned the importance of managing emotions and I understood that my emotions belong to me, my feelings belong to me. So it don't matter if any one of y'all cause a reaction in me or does something that makes me feel some type of way, I understand that my feelings are my job to manage. So you'll never see me sitting nowhere crying or being a victim telling somebody else what they did to me that made me feel some type of way. It is my job to manage my feelings. Once I understood this, I understand as I interact with people, I know the purpose for it. You take what is valuable from the situation, you be honest with yourself about how compatible y'all are or aren't. And when things in your life come from within you, it is your job, like feelings, obstacles in your life that affect or your basics, it's your job to manage the shit. When you like conquer stuff like this, you will only be attracted to those that can do this, understand this, are in a space or are in a space where they're working on this. Meaning I don't have no desire to talk to no female, fuck on no nigga, be friends, do business, you know, socialize with nobody on a choice level. Meaning if it ain't them paying me for my time to get like a one-on-one -on -one or a Zoom or something like that, I don't care to speak to you if you don't have these things under control. Because what I understand is what I'm attracted to and it's what I will attract. An emotional person will get nowhere with me. So, of course, a lot of times I won't even attract those type of people. It has nothing to do with me being better than them. It has everything to do with you will sit there, cry, whine, bitch, be negative, talk about how every problem in your life is somebody else's fault, what your baby daddy did to you, what your baby mama did to you, and I will check the fuck out. I will not be a good friend. It won't be comfortable conversations with me. We won't mix. So as you work on things on yourself, especially when it comes to relationships and socializing with other people, you will realize what I understand and what I want to be. Like what pushes me in the direction of the goals and the things I'm trying to get done is what I will attract. I hope y'all understand what I'm explaining. It's important to have relationships in your life. It's important at some point in your life to aspire to be in a relationship. Because it's a lot of people, when they hear me talk on relationships, the first thing they want to say is, well, that's why, you know, I be single. But really, all that shows is if you're not working on you to get in a space where I want to be in a relationship, you basically accept the fact that you suck at relationships. Exactly. It's a part of being mature. It's a part of being grown. It's a part of being honest with yourself. It's a lot of y'all like when I be speaking on trust because trust is a choice. You don't fully know how to trust because you've never actually been able to be yourself. Like mostly some of y'all lives, you've just been operating based on making thirst plays, meaning the things that you post, the stuff you say, the shit you wear, the places that you go, the things that you buy, all that stuff is in an effort to either make it seem like you don't need anyone 
or try to fit in with the group of people that you feel like those things are going to lock you in better with them. Either way, it's, it's not right. Either way, it's not fulfilling of self. Either way, it's going against balance. Either way, it's not you getting an understanding for you. So pretty pre, that's a perfect example. She said, with the way these niggas move, um, I for sure want to stay single. That is what you're attracting. Those are the type of dudes that you attract. Every man in the world that's on the market or in the dating pool is not somebody that's going to make you want to say, I should stay single. There are plenty of men out here that when you meet them, the way they treat you, the way they talk to you, the things they have going on in their life, the matureness that they have, it will make you want to be married. You just can't attract that. So you have to go fix you and figure out what the fuck is wrong with you that you're actually viewing and grouping, you know, all men the same and the same goes for any woman, you know, I mean, any man that feels that way about a woman, about all women. When y'all do these generalizations where it's niggas ain't shit or bitches ain't shit, all that is, is a reflection of what's going on with you. That's all it is. And it ain't just females saying it about dudes. It's dudes that they feel like, see, this is why I fuck them and leave them alone. Because all these bitches is blah. Them the bitches that you attract. Your vibration is so low that you can only attract women that aren't trustworthy. Don't understand submission. Don't know how to manage their emotions or care to. Don't have enough respect for you because of maybe whatever you project out there. That's your shit. And see, what y'all like to do to not work on yourself is to make blanket general statements like what she just made, generalizations of everybody making it seem like you have came to some sort of conclusion for the human race or for the urban culture or for the black people or for people in general that niggas ain't shit. But people get married every day. There are a lot of people happily married. You just don't know any because everybody around you suck at relationships. Ain't nobody reading no books on how to build your communication skills. You and your family members and the bitch that raised you they ain't jumping in no zooms or going to no seminars trying to get better with managing their emotions or learning how to actually get their basics under control they're not doing that they're not sitting in zooms like the one i'm doing tonight on understanding the purpose of relationships and changing your perspective so to make yourselves feel better you just tell yourself it's these niggas it's all the baby daddies it's all the bit no bitch it's you it's you. I told y'all, y'all perspective and perception of life is based on what's going on with you. You ever seen somebody, they in the same room as you, but what they see is different from you? Something wrong with everything, and it's a bunch of other people, they're not complaining about all that stuff. It's showing you that it's something wrong with your ass. Your perspective is based on what the fuck is going on with you. 90% of life is mental. Most of it has to do with emotions and your perception of what's happening to you. Cup half empty, cup half full. Either way, the shit look the same. It's how you're interpreting it. I'm going to say that again for some of y'all. Cup half empty, cup half full. I can take a cup, glass of water. Half full, half empty. Regardless of which one you see, when we look at it, we're all seeing the same thing. It only changes based on how the fuck you're processing it up here so if you feel like i'm supposed to be single not because i need to work on me but because the way these niggas moving or the way these bitches is it's because that's all you're able to attract that's all you see that's what's wrong with you so now if you want to get in the zoom and help change your perspective or your perception or your understanding of relationships text 678-965-0698 hold on y'all watch this Exactly. CM Essex, you said some real shit, and that really sums it up. You can't be nowhere your mind ain't at. The problem for a lot of y'all, and this is why, like, when you see me start touring, um, we said we're going to be talking about relationships, credit, finances. He does credit repair. He gives people access or helps them get access to a lot of funding. 
I talk to people about relationships and management of emotions and becoming a, a better them, self-help, self-evaluation. The issue for a lot of y'all is you really believe it's the world and not you. You genuinely have convinced yourself that it's everything around you and it has nothing to do with you. I seen somebody say on here, I disagree with some points. First off, nobody gives a fuck because on my page, it's law, what I say. Secondly, I tried to add him. He didn't add himself. He said he, he wasn't joining or whatever. He rejected it. But for me to a lot of y'all, you got to check your common sense. If you get on my lives and you feel like you disagree with what I'm saying, because in all reality, everything I be saying be broke down to common sense. It don't be opinion. It literally be common sense. Just looking at y'all like y'all looking at me. This is why I tried to add them because a lot of times, like when I add people, they whole tone change because you you really could see they be trying to be relevant over anything. So everything I, I be saying, it's basic shit. It's just stuff that when you growing up, if you were never told this and you were wired to believe the contrary all your life, like you were conditioned to believe because you watched your mama be a victim and you watched, you know, all relationships around you, people just blame each other when stuff happens. You don't know exactly how to or what the purpose of relationships are or how to work through them. A lot of us, we don't understand conflict resolution. We look to point the blame every time a conflict comes up. And this is why a lot of times we can't resolve a lot of stuff that go on in our life. We can't get an understanding. And it, it is very much common sense, but it has to be introduced to the mind for you to make sense of it. And then the other thing is, in order to genuinely just call it common sense, it has to be common. And the stuff that I be speaking on don't be spoke on often. So it ain't common. A lot of y'all got to understand relationships are not bad. It is lack of boundaries, lack of understanding for what you're doing and what you have the people in your life for, what you're doing with your life, having your basics together, managing your emotions. These are the things that make y'all feel like relationships are bad. I'm going to just stay single forever. This is the shit that really has y'all believing that that stuff makes sense, even though human beings, scientifically, chemically, hormonal. We are wired to gravitate towards people, not away. I told y'all, if you watch Animal Channel and shit like that, there are certain species that they don't run in groups. They don't run in herds. They don't run in packs. You may see one individual of that species by itself. But then you got species, mammals, reptiles, certain like, you know, animals, whatever, that actually are wired to run in groups. As human beings, we are like that. This is just science. So you actually going against your makeup when you try to go your whole life like, nope, I ain't going to fuck with nobody. I ain't going to deal with nobody. I ain't going to be in a relationship. I ain't going to fuck with nobody. That's why I don't fuck with these niggas. That's why I ain't fuck with these bitches. It don't matter whether you gay, straight, old, young. You are what you are, a human being. Psychology is what it is. Understanding of the human mind and the way it works. Somebody said, I say that all the time. We are not turtles. People don't understand that. It's very destructive. This is why tonight I'm doing a Zoom on relationships. Changing your perspective, your perception, your understanding of the purpose of relationships. Somebody said facts, but there are people that's comfortable by themselves. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. That is their way of trying to cope or not actually fix the things that I'm saying. 
it's easier for some people just to go sit off in a corner by themselves and just get comfortable with just being them. Just being, I'm just going to be by myself. But I'm going to tell you something. Genuinely, them people have urges and longings to interact and be in relationships with other people. They will just tell you that they don't. You can condition yourself to get used to habits, which is what they've done. But it still don't change what the fuck really be going on inside. I'll give y'all a perfect example. When people get teenagers, when they get 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, there is a reason why you see a pattern of behavior with that age group. It's not because the kids turn 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and say to themselves, this morning, I'm going to decide I want my hormones to be a certain way so I can start getting the urge to put my penis into someone else. I'm going to start making my vagina get wet and have the urge to start looking at little boys. They don't tell themselves that. Guess what does that? Their body does it on its own, which means that you could tell yourself at, from a baby, you can have somebody telling you and you can be telling yourself, I don't want to be with nobody. 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 When your ass hit 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, your dick going to start getting hard. Your little cat going to start getting wet. Your little titties going to start to develop. Things are going to start happening naturally. Has nothing to do with anything on TV. Nothing to do with at some point, some earlier than others, your body as a human being is going to start telling you, go fuck, go fuck, go fuck. There's an itch. Scratch it. You need to, you need to satisfy this urge. It's called nature. So you can't disagree with what I'm saying. Meaning if you see and tell, I don't want to deal with other people. I don't want to. It's a fucking lie because you're wired in your biology to actually gravitate towards fucking another person. Now, rather you develop a coping mechanism where you go get you some toys or a blow up doll or some shit and go scratch that itch based on doing some stuff that's unnatural. It, you still have the same feeling or same long. All right. I have to say it like this. Somebody said, calm down. I have to say it like this because if I don't say it this um, assertive, if I don't put this much tenacity on it, like it go over just some of y'all heads where you just keep that. Well, what about the people that don't want to be with nobody? What about the people that like being alone? What about it's a cap? And a lot of them have just conditioned themselves to like not even think on it. Going against what's really going on inside. Exactly. Defense mechanisms. Life is about balance. That's why it's important for you to understand the things that are going on with you, the stuff that's happening with your mental and shit like that. It is so important that as you get older, you understand the purpose of relationships. Because it goes with your biology. It goes with your makeup. You ever seen when they put people in solitary confinement? or they lock them in a room by themselves, what do they eventually start doing even though there's nobody else around? What do they start doing? When niggas be up the road and they put them in solitary, some of y'all know you, you done been up the road and you, been, you done been in solitary, what do you start doing? Rather, nigga gonna tell you the truth or not, I know because I've studied psychology. What do they start doing? having hallucinations and talking to themselves as if they have another person in there with them. Know why? Because as a human being, your mind is wired to want to interact with other human beings. So even when there's no human beings, you will start to talk like there is because your mind wants there to be other human beings. Exactly. Somebody said you need interact. Exactly. They only talking to self because ain't nobody else around. They will start talking out like because they and it's not because they want niggas don't. I'm gonna go to solitary confinement and I'm gonna start talking to myself after about 30 days, after about three weeks. No, they didn't the nigga didn't decide that before he got locked up by himself. 
it started happening on its own because of his mental. Somebody said answering themselves truth. I'm a retired nurse. Exactly. This is why it's funny when you see people like, oh, well, I disagree. How? How are you going to disagree with some shit that's like, it's just science. Literally. So for those of y'all that go around, I'm just be by myself. That's why I'm going to just stay by myself. Okay. Just know the same way you feel like, you know, being in relationships can get awful. All that by yourself shit can get awful. Tonight, 9.30, Zoom on relationships, understand the purpose. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy the rest of y'all weekend. If you don't understand what I'm saying, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. <laughs>